Hello there and welcome to my channel. Hey LWL crew, welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to a brand new vlog. And um, I've picked up the camera today because it's the weekend as we know. And uh, you guys have said to me many times, Lois, we'd like to see you go to work or what you do and things like that. Well, I've been called out today, unbelievably. I've been called out um, because we do run a skeleton service on the weekend and evenings. So um, I've been called out to assess a situation at um, one of the um, properties that we look after. So, yeah, I've been, I've assessed it, I've looked at it and... Basically, it's, it's, the bathroom's got to get sorted. So it's about trying to make sure that everyone's comfortable. The tenants have got another bathroom to use. And yeah, it's that kind of vibe. So my plan today wasn't really to be on a call out. My plan today really was to go around the shops. Um, well, not go around the shops, really to go to um, Home Bargains. Not Home Bargains, oh my days, rum shop. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I've been going home bargains so much lately that that's just on my mind. No, I'm not going home bargains. I've been there too much. I'm stopping. But what I need to do is to visit Home Sense. That's what I meant, Home Sense, because I haven't been Home Sense in a little while. Um, so I really wanted to pop into Home Sense, but I don't know if I've got my trainers. I think my trainers should be in the boot because obviously you go to work, you got you just dress appropriately with your shoes and that. I don't like walking around the shops in my shoes. I don't know if you guys are the same. I, I like to put on comfy trainers and stuff like that. So I don't think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pop to Home Sense, see what I've got in there. Um, yeah, pop to Home Sense. And then later on, I want to do some crafting. I have been trying to get my bits and pieces together to do some crafting. So yeah, that's probably typically what I'm going to do today. And whatever else takes my fancy, whatever. I probably need to pop into... Um, some type of supermarket, maybe Aldi or Lidl or something, and pick up some bananas. I need some bananas um, to make my smoothies because I've run out. I wish I went out to Aldi the other day. Me and the girls on a late night run the other, the other night, and I forgot to get my blinking bananas. But then when you go Aldi that time of night as well, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. So that's the thing. You might go to some shops and, you know, you get things cost-effective. But if you go late at night, guys, you're not going to get anything there. So, yeah, I need to pop into a shop. And like how it's the morning... Um, I'm most likely to get what I want, what I need. So, yeah. But guys, it's been, it's been, a, the last few days have been a bit hairy at home. Would you believe it? Lucy went missing. Yeah. Lucy is the older cat. Yeah, she's the older cat. Lucy must be about, I don't know. I always get it wrong. The girls always correct me and say, no, mum, she's not that age. Um, but she's getting on a bit. She's at least... Oh, maybe 14, 15. She might even be more, 16 maybe. She's getting on a bit. And she's her hearing is going as well. So we're very conscious of her. We always look at where is she? Is she in her bed? Is she on the radiator? That's where she likes to hang out on the radiator. And that kind of thing. But also with Lucy and all our cats, they know times. They will start to sort of bother you about an hour before dinner to, to kind of, because of an evening, we give them like a fresh, you know, they have their, their treats throughout the day laying down in their, in their bowls. But of an evening, we give them like a fresh sort of meaty kind of meal. So they, they know, they, they look forward to the meaty meals. Although it's not good for them to give them the meaty things every day or the jelly things every day, we like to give them the dry stuff. But they kind of start to bother us about an hour before, like, come on, come on. Are we going to, are we going to get our treats now? So they will actually, I mean, Diego, he actually sits outside Tasha's room sometimes looking at her like like he's like he's willing her to come out because he's a real he don't mess about when it comes to his food he doesn't mess about so anyway everyone came for their food as normal this is the routine every day they came for their food tickers running along making a noise Diego is kind of doing what he's doing but where was Lucy we couldn't find her we thought to ourselves she does like her alone time so has she gone you know in hiding somewhere so we gave her an hour or so but we called her and the thing is, if you call her and um, beckon to her, because she can't always hear you, and that's the thing, we're, we're thinking, maybe she can't hear us. Oh, God, it was so stressful. 
but so stressful. In the end, we searched and we searched and we searched and we actually prayed. The girls prayed like, you know, we don't want to lose her. Where has she gone? Where is she? And something said, it's like a, we had a feeling, let's just go look for her outside. Maybe she slipped through. How could she have got through the door? Because they're indoor cats. You know where she was? She was outside of our house on the fence looking down at us. How did she get outside? We don't know. We don't know how she got out. We didn't leave a door open because we're very conscious. We have three, you know, indoor cats. So the only thing we can think is that when we went through, somebody went through the door of an evening, she slipped out because she does try to go outside sometimes. But because she, she's got a hearing problem, she won't hear things. She, so, guys, we're so protective. Maybe we're too protective. I don't know. But anyway, we found her. But that's just the thing. She's street savvy. Because when, before her hearing went, she used to go out all the time. Um, and she'd go away for days sometimes. And she'd come back. She's very independent, fiercely independent. So I think maybe she misses going out, whereas the other two, they're not going anywhere. They're, they're proper house cats. But, um, yeah, so we got her back. She sat on the fence. She knew it was dinner time. She she was coming out. Oh, I'll tell you. So we have to really now be conscious when we're going through the front door, look behind us, because she's so quick. She moves so quickly that, yeah, but guys, it was a hairy. Because, you know, you've had them all these years. You've had your animals, your pets, your fairy friends, whatever you want to call them. They're part of the family. You've had them for years. And for something to happen, it's like... <sighs> anyway, we found it. But anyway, enough of me guessing, guys. I am going to um, hit the road, start driving now. And then I'm going to see if I can go into Home Sense. So I've got about a good seven, eight miles now to drive to get there. So I'm going to start the car and get going and um, see how we get on. So I'll see you in a bit. So guys, I was sitting in the car waiting for quite a while because there's just flash floods all of a sudden and it's pouring with rain, pouring, pouring. So I want to make my way into Little now, just before the rain starts again. So um, yeah, go be quick. Well, guys, I'm back in the car, all windswept. Oh, my days. I, I don't know. Before, as you see, I was <laughs> in downpour, in the middle of a downpour. Now, someone's trying to kill me out here. I don't know what's going on with this car. This weather, not this car, the weather. So i am finally finished my little bits and pieces from Little. I picked up a nice little um, basket, which could be used to, like, either you your gardening or to, to decorate for Easter or whatever. Yeah, I really liked it. So, um, yeah, let's sort my hair out, guys. And then I've got to go on to the next shop, which has got to be Home Sense, which is where I was heading for from the beginning, but we move. So, let's go to Home Sense. <laughs>
So I'm back in the car, just finished Home Sense, and I was so glad I popped in there. I mean, I, I really controlled myself. I only got a couple of items, so I'll have to show it to you when I get home. But guys, I am so ravenous right now. And normally, after sort of being up and down, my normal haunt would be to go to um, McDonald's. There's a Mackie D not far from here. So normally McDonald's is my haunt. But um, as you know, your girl's trying to be good and trying to manage her eating and trying to eat things that will be more wholesome for me. And, um, oops, sorry. That wasn't very wholesome, was it? Oh, yeah. It's all going all over the place. It's all going skewing now. There you go. Sorry, guys. I need to get myself a proper holder. You're balancing on something that... You're balancing on my dash cam thing at the moment. So, um, yeah, I need to get myself something proper to eat although i would love a chicken burger and chips but we're not going to do that we're not going to do that um especially picking up all my strawberries and stuff so i could have some fruit so i can have fruit but i really want something more substantial maybe a hot drink as well so what i'm going to do i'm going to go into um greg's because where mcdonald's is there's a brand new greg's that's been opened up I, i've never seen it before guys this is like two brand new shops in one month so um, yeah, I'm gonna take a, a gander into Greg's because I've never I've never been to a Greg's on a retail part before. Never. I mean, this is the one of the biggest Greg's I've seen. But also, the only Greg's I tend to see on the retail park is when you're going on road trips, you know, like going out of London and you'll see on the motorway, there's always like, you know, the service stations that have a Greg's. But guys, we've got we've got one here. So I'm going to have a, a gander and see what's in there and be nice. I'll take you with me. I should have, I should, uh, confession is good for the soul. Guys, I stopped in Poundland. They've got some nice bags. I really need to stop buying blinking Poundland bags. But anyway, let's go in Greg's and see what they got. So, cinnamon coffees are back. I wonder if I should try one. Hmm. Don't really know what I want. Um, honey baguette roast salad. Oh, little pack. See a sweet potato and rice? I don't know. So I'm back in the car now with my goodies, my supplies, and I've got myself some um, hot tomato soup. Um, so we're going to give it a soup taste test. And that was like £2.30 for the soup, but you can buy it with a meal deal. It looks nice. And it smells really thick. Like, so really, it's really creamy, it's tomato soup. They had chicken and vegetable. They had um, chicken and tomato, like I've never had chicken and tomato before in my life. And then they had, um, this one the tomato so i i do like a tomato soup so i also got myself a little sausage roll as well and for later on i've got myself a little treat because i don't have these often a little ring donut i don't have them often so i thought i'd treat myself that came to about four quid and i got me spoon as well so guys i'm gonna taste the soup i will give you the taste test and let you know this is really thick i wonder if it's homemade hmm a good pot and it's really it's really warm so let's um let's taste mm. that is nice that is really really nice that is really you never guess what when i came back in the car i was thinking how come i can hear people so clearly didn't realize i left my blinking window open the back window um and the thing is, you'll notice, you'll notice that it's open because my window's tinted. So if it's one's tinted and one's not, hello. And I left all my stuff in the car. But luckily the shop was only just there. So, and it's a retail park. It's pretty quiet today, which is quite nice. But this soup is gorgeous. I must admit, one thing I've started eating quite a lot of now lately is soup. And um, I'm going to make tomato and basil. That's one of my, I'm actually going to try and do a new recipe every week. I'm gonna try it. I don't know if I'll be able to do it because lifestyle is mad, but I do want to try doing more 
sort of um, different recipes that are sort of outside my comfort zone kind of thing. Um, but tomato and basil is the next one I make because I make soups all the time. And as you guys know, I bought my little um, immersive blender thing, which that is so easy to make soups with and just blend it up. Because I like smooth, I don't like chunky soups, I like smooth soups. But let me eat this soup and stop talking. Stop, stop guessing because I'm so hungry. It's a little salty though, but I think it's a little salty. It's probably, if I'd have had this maybe six months ago, I would say it's perfect because it's salty. But because I've stopped taking salt, I literally, if I do, it's a pinch of Himalayan, literally a pinch. Um, I've totally cut back my salt intake. So that's probably why I can pick up on the salt a lot more than I normally would. But anyway, you don't want to hear about all that. So I'm going to eat my soup, guys, and I will catch up with you. Um, yeah, maybe later on or on again tomorrow. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I'm at home, as you can see. Um, so I didn't get to come back to you last night. Literally, by the time I drove home and then got through all that traffic, it was pouring with rain. The traffic was horrendous. I don't know where everyone's going, but anyway, everyone's trying to get somewhere. So by the time I got home, had a cup of tea, sort of kicked off my shoes because, yeah, my feet were killing me. So by the time I'd done all that and then put, you know, cooked some dinner for myself and the girls, it was it was too late to pick up the camera at that point, guys. So I thought, I do want to show you guys what I picked up yesterday in my little, little mini haul. But as you can see, today I'm situated kind of up today um, because I've got out my little mini crafting table. I don't get this table out very often, but I'm really kind of, you know, making time to say I'm going to sit down and do some crafting because I really enjoy doing it. But it's nice when you can sit down and spread everything out on the table then you can see what you've got so before i get into the crafting bits um i don't even know if i'm gonna have enough time to do it because i've got to then also cook um dinner the lunch for today i've then got to do some ironing because i've done a lot of washing so there's a lot to be doing and to cram it into the weekend before the week starts off love over again so it's not going to be a restful weekend as i thought hey but you still got to do stuff. Do you know what I mean? You still got to do stuff around the home and tidy up and wash and cook and clean. And this goes on and on and on and on. But let me show you what I picked up in um, Home Sense. I was going to say the range. Guys, you, you, can, you can tell when you've been to too many shops, can't you? You can tell. So I picked up this little cutie. And I think this is really nice for the kitchen. Don't you guys think? It's kind of like a little glitter bunny. And it looks like some sort of confectionery. Can you see all the glitter on it? on her yeah can you see really really nice i think it's so so cute it's almost like a little donut kind of decor but i'm i'm all, I'm all about the glitter and the bling i love a glitter and a bling so to me this would be nice in the kitchen i'm thinking because guys i've started sort of laying out my little decor items and i know you guys say lois want to see you decorate so yeah if you stay tuned because i think this video is going to end up too long if i decorate today although i am starting little bits so as you can see i've got my little bunny girl out here and i've got my little um wooden friend here and guys i'm just laying out a few bits and pieces all around the home not going too crazy but yeah definitely will show you fully on the next video because i don't think we're gonna have time to do it all today also, oh, didn't get a price yet, did I? That one was $7.99. $7.99 for that. Loving hair. Also, um, picked up these two little bunnies. And every time I show Leisha my bunny, she's like, hmm. Now she's making me have doubts about this, but I, I like them. So you got this one little, this first one. And it's kind of like a cut out wooden statue really really cute the only thing that makes it a bit creepy it wears his eyes i don't know but this came in at 5.99 really like the bunny but i don't think it looks great on its own it and you know bunnies like to be in pairs as they say or some bunnies like to be in pairs so i got a little pair of them so when they sit together like that kind of to the side it will look nice guys i'm not i'm going for i'm not i'm not i'm going for but alone they look weird because they ain't got no eyes was, i don't know but anyway I thought sitting as a pair, kind of like a silhouette, you know, especially if you're walking past somewhere, it will look really, really nice. That too was $5.99. So it's a pair of wooden bunnies, but look at the carvings on there. The carvings are lovely. Don't you think? Really great detail. It's like little flowers that have been carved out on each of them. So they're both $5.99 for those two. And again, as I said, from HomeSense, and you know HomeSense do some beautiful, beautiful pieces 
um is that yeah also in terms of bunnies now i've got myself some placemats um there's this five little place no four sorry four placemats and these came in at 5.99 and it's because it's got little decor on them and that's really really cute so you get four sort of like coasters not placemats but like coasters kind of thing do you know what I mean for your drinks and things like that so yeah loving that don't know if i'd even use this as really coasters this is quite nice as decor especially if you've got like a a kind of um you could kitchen decor so if you've got like a, a kitchen tower you can kind of put it on there or your tray that you might decorate your coffee station you can use it for decor as well so 5.99 for those yeah and they're wooden but that kind of suits the theme because i've got a, quite a lot of wood in my kitchen so that would really suit even as decor anyway what else did i pick up in there uh yeah i got myself some stems i saw these three lovely stems and as i said to you guys i don't want to be changing my flowers in and out in and out um i either buy them done already or I, I will buy a bunch and then you add the, the colours. Because I think it's better that way than me keep buying a whole load of bunches, a whole load of bunches. You just buy the odd stems and you just change your decor around. So to bring in the colours, I saw these lovely stems in there. And there was a single stem I've got. This one came in, I think this is about, oh, the price on it. This is $3.99. So not, not cheap, guys, not cheap. But it is very much a statement piece really really nice 3.99 it's got the very long um stem that is quite flexible and bendable so you can you know make them as tall or as short as you want to also picked up this slight greenery now i am i'm not a florist by any means or any stretch i don't know the names of these flowers maybe you guys can tell me i'm not i'm not that up on all the flowers i just know they look nice that's all i can tell you and this one came in at 249 that floral stem so that's a bit of greenery again long stem as well and the third one i picked up was this lovely bright yellow and this one came in at 3.99 as well and when I, I you know me already guys i told you i go in a shop and i will put them together and i will go backwards and forwards and pick this up put that down i was in a shop for ages but when you put them all together let me just arrange it for you and you can see what i mean hold on a minute let's just arrange it all nicely see when you put them together like that don't they look lovely? You put them together like that, they look gorgeous. Then you add them into your arrangements. As you guys know, I normally have a big sort of white arrangements when I sit down. Um, and I'll just add these in here and there just to make it up. Let's put that out, out the way over there. But as I said, I do like stems. I've always loved flowers. I'm just not green fingered. I don't know. I wasn't blessed to be green fingered, but I'm going to try because I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. So what else did I pick up? Um, yeah. Also went to, I think, yeah, I got this from, um, when I went to Lidl. Now this little pot plant. Now I love this. This is in the middle aisle or a special aisle, whichever one they call it. And that is gorgeous. I do like that. That is nice to even um, plant somewhere around the home, like put your plants in it. I actually want it as part of my Easter decor, I think. I'm probably going to put some sort of tulips in here. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, some, or maybe a, maybe a longer, I don't know. I don't know. I'll find something. You know when you have to sort of mix and match and play around, guys? But this came in at 4 99 for this one. And I've got it in the long sort of tray style as well. And I've got them in green, pink yellow and the white yeah so that came in at 4.99 in Lidl and Poundland as you guys know I had to stop in Poundland very very quickly and I really like look at this little Easter basket for three pounds and again when I make up my baskets or my arrangements I haven't got a children's one so I thought I would get this and use that to make up an arrangement also what I picked up in that came for three pounds for that one and also, um, I have been looking for these high and low in all the Poundlands and I couldn't find them. I got the little mini ones, but the one I went into yesterday, they had the medium size green rabbit. And this came in at 2 50 They also got the egg to match as well. The egg, I think, is about 125 I think. Yeah, 125 for the egg. So you've got that to match as well. And also, picked up a couple of little bunnies. And this bunny was £2.50. 
for this little yellow fella. And this kind of got like a felt, like a velvet kind of felt um, on the outside. So they're really nice and soft to touch. And also I picked up this little miniature one. Thought they'd be a little cute together. And the miniature one came in at, uh, let's have a look guys, what the miniature one came in at. I think it's about a pound maybe, a pound 25. No, a pound. Little mini one came in at a pound. This one came in at £2.50. So yeah, Poundland have got some really, really lovely stuff in there. So guys, definitely worth a visit. Every time I go into different ones, there's different things in there. So clearly, when I was talking about them being, you know, emptied out, they're getting ready for spring. So anyway, I'm going to sit here and look at some crafting because I, you guys, remember I told you about that reef that I wanted to put together? This is the reef. This is it. Now, I still had it in the box. I didn't even remember I had it in the box from Poundland. This must be at least, guys, at least three years ago. That's the type of roof that you were getting at Poundland three years ago. And I still got it in the box. Because when I bought it, I bought it and I, I hauled it. I remember showing you guys on the channel. So if you go back to one of my very first Poundlands, you will see this um, in there. And at the time, I really liked it. And then when I took it out of the box, I did not like it as much. Um, but contrary to some belief i didn't carry it back <laughs> i held on to it because guys you never know so i held on to this and i thought to myself i still want to make use of it so i'm going to actually um take it out of the box and kind of put it together but i need time to do it so if you watch my next video you're going to see me put this all together because it's going to take time because i'm not really sure what i'm doing i'm not i'm not confident what i'm doing either because i've never made a reef before so i'm going to actually attempt that and um i will film it for you guys to see because i know you're going to say lois i want to see it i want to see it i want to see it so i will sh i will i will i will do it so um yeah but i have got one little thing i'm going to make up i'm going to make up a little flower arrangement and what i've had to do is i've literally shocked my own home so guys it's good to go around the home and see what things you have and then see what you can shop and kind of put things together so i'm going to put i've got an empty vase that i'm going to use and I'm gonna use these little flowers in there to put it together. I've also got um, some Easter eggs and some flowers, but I'll put it all together and show you what I'm gonna do. So yeah, stay tuned. So here is a look at everything we're gonna be using, guys. And as I said to you, shop your home. So this vase is a really sort of vase, old vase I've had for a long, long time. Um, still love it though, but I thought I would use it. It's just a very simple vase that can stack things in. Here are some eggs I got from Home Bargains. Um, some little flowers as well, purple and yellow. Also, here is the bunch of, um, these are a bunch of tulips that I got from Poundland as well. And also here's some shredded yellow paper that I'm gonna be using to make my display. So, probably the first thing I'm gonna start off with, let's move these all out of the way. So we've got a clear view of what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm probably gonna do is, you know, get my vase and get a bit of this shredded paper. Just a little bit. And add it in. So what I'm gonna do guys, I'm not gonna keep talking because <laughs> to talk and do this at the same time, it's a little bit of a, um, a struggle for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead quickly and just try and make this up and see how we get on.
so guys that's where i'm going to end the video because it's yeah um i've made my first easter display um diy display it needs a bit more tweaking let me show it to you again that's my that's my easter display of um tulips it needs a little bit of tweaking um but that's how it looks with all the easter eggs in there the the paper from underneath and that will kind of probably go somewhere up here um or just maybe in the hallway or something i'm not sure about this i would have preferred maybe eggs all the way here i might even swap that out to be, be all eggs um yeah i'm not sure um yeah i may swap this all out actually and let the entire thing be eggs if i do i'll come back and show you should i though yeah i might swap it all out to be eggs that's what I might do. I might, yeah, I'm going to take that away. But um, what do you think, guys? Do you, do you like it? Do you think I should t put all eggs in there? Or eggs and flowers? I think, yeah, eggs and flowers might be. But it's just to give you an example of what I'm going to play around with. I mean, this is my first attempt in years to even put things together. So I'm hoping that, yeah, I'm going to sit down, grab myself a cup of tea and relax and kind of get on with the reef and see how I get on. But I think I'm going to pull this apart. But I'll show it to you in the next video, guys. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Hope you enjoyed this um, spending the weekend with me. See what I get up to. And I'm now going to get a cup of tea and cook my dinner. So I'm going to love you and leave you guys. Take care of yourself. Don't forget to click and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my very next video. Take care of yourself. See you soon. Bye.